Behind me is a car that I bought for $1,000 that I plan to give away to somebody. Now, I know what you're thinking, a $1,000 car, who's going to want that? I've actually been looking for a car for $1,000 for a while now because I have this grand plan. I'm going to give away a $1,000 car, and I'm going to work my way up, and I'm going to give away all the way up to a $100,000 car and try to give away as many cars as I can in between. So we're starting small, but the plan's to make it big. But behind me is a super luxurious 2001 Grand Marquis. Come take a look, guys. It's actually a really nice car for $1,000. It has 102,000 miles. I've been driving it for the last two and a half, three weeks, because I didn't want someone to buy this and it'd be a piece of crap. So I did drive it just to make sure it wasn't gonna like blow up, but there was nothing wrong with it. It's one owner. They took meticulous, they took very good care of it. It's been meticulously maintained. So let me just show you guys the car. We're actually about to run it up to my Uncle Joe's shop. I just want to get a safety check done on it before I give this car away because you never know what you're going to get with a $1,000 car. I mean, I've looked under it. I, I'm not a mechanic though, so I want to get a mechanic's opinion. I think it's going to check out all good, but let me show you guys the car real quick then we're going to run up to my Uncle Joe's shop. It's actually extremely clean. The car, there's barely any rust on it. It's in super good shape. Here, let me uh, fire it up for you guys. Turns right on, I got the nice V8 in it. Let's do that, we'll pop the trunk too. Can you even pop the hood on this thing? Ooh, slippery out here. Yeah, I don't think I can pop the hood. Sometimes you gotta wedge something in there, got a pen on me. There we go, there we go. Oh. I'm a salesman, not a mechanic. Got the 4.6 liter V8. This is a Panther platform. Ford is tried and true with this vehicle. The Crown Vic, the Town Car, and the Mercury Grand Marquis. And I'm actually happy I got to drive this for the last couple weeks because I've always wanted one of these cars because if you've never driven one, it's like riding around on your living room couch. I mean, these things, the, the front seat's huge and it's like riding in a boat, it's super nice. The trunk in these are massive too. Come check out the trunk. You can put so much stuff in here. <laughs> Look at it. This is from a skit I did. If you follow me on TikTok, I post some skits on there. This is from a, when the dealership wants to play games, so I still have some games in there. But we're going to run this up to my Uncle Joe's shop. Just make sure this car is in good shape. Obviously, it's a $1,000 car. This isn't going to be somebody's car for the rest of their life. But if this could help somebody in need, and somebody can drive this car for the next eight months, year, two years, just to help them get back on their feet. So that's really going to be the challenge here. I don't want to just do a random giveaway. I do want to try to find somebody who actually needs the car. So I haven't actually found that person yet, but hopefully over the next couple days I can find that person and make sure that the one who gets the car. So we're going to head up to the shop now. I'm going to get you get a little video of me driving it, and then we'll see what my Uncle Joe says. So we're running up to my uncle's shop. He doesn't work too far from where I work. And I'm trying to make all these videos while I work a full-time job. So it's definitely challenging, but I don't, I don't mind putting in the extra work. I think, you know, the grand plan will all pay off in the end, but... You know, this is just the beginning, guys. This is the start of something really big. You know, I'm, I'm already envisioning giving away a $100,000 car to somebody, or, you know, maybe it's two $50,000 cars. I don't know, but this car actually drives like super nice. I checked, oh, the seatbelt chime definitely works. Definitely gonna buckle up. Oh, always wear your seatbelt, kids. This is just the start of something big. And in this car, everything works on it. I checked, nothing's wrong with it as far as I can see. The power seat works, the steering wheel, you know, adjustment works, the heat, the air conditioning. I checked everything, the rear defroster, front defroster, and it runs really good. It shifts really good. These V8s, you know, they don't build, it's a little underpowered, but I think that's why these V8s ran so good because they were underpowered, but they're still strongly built V8s. But we'll see what my uncle says. He's gonna be the deciding factor on this. So. Hopefully he gives me good news on this. We'll, we'll check back in with him after uh, he takes a look at it. All right, guys, got Uncle Joe here. He just called me, told me the car's ready. He didn't tell me if it's good or bad, so I'll just let him take the stage. Can I safely give this car, this $1,000 car to somebody? $1,000, this car is actually in pristine shape. It is clean inside and out, underneath, under the hood. Great tires on it. Steering suspension checks out. It is good to go. Here you go, man. Well, hey, thanks, Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe's gonna be in a lot more videos because I'm gonna, the plan is give $1,000, 2,000, 3, 4, all the way up to 100,000. So these next probably 20 cars, Uncle Joe's gonna look at till we kind of start treading into that new car territory where I don't need a, a mechanic <laughs> to tell me if it's safe or not. But I'll let you get back to work, Uncle Joe. Thanks right, so man. much. Take Love you, man. Love you too, bud.
Now the next step is figuring out who I'm gonna give this car to. I got a couple ideas. I'm gonna take a day or two to stew over how I wanna make sure that this car goes to a family in need. That's the whole point of this. I want somebody who needs a car to get this. I don't want someone who doesn't need a car <laughs> to get a free car. So I'll do a little bit of homework on my end and I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, so I just figured out how I'm gonna give this car away. And it's funny because I was thinking maybe I'll just stand on the street with a sign that says free car. And then I was like, well, maybe someone who needs a car isn't gonna get it. You know, I really wanna make sure these cars go to people who actually need transportation. Then I was like, maybe I'll go to you know, a lower income area near us and just try to ask people or you know, try to give the car away there. But then again, you never know if somebody might lie to you or you know, everyone who doesn't want a free vehicle. So I had this nice young girl in the other day with her family and unfortunately she wasn't able to buy a car and she really needs one to get to work and you don't need the whole backstory, but she needs a car. And she leaves, and as she leaves, I go, man, I really wish I could help her out. And then I went, oh my, I, know, I can help her, I can, she can get the car. So she has no clue I'm about to call her with this information. I did text her, I said, hey, can I call you around five o'clock? I have an idea of how we might be able to get you to buy a car. So I'm about to call her right now, hopefully she answers. She is working right now, I don't even know how she got there, because I know she needs a car. But let's give her a call, we'll put her on speaker, and uh, hopefully she wants the car. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. If she doesn't answer, she's not getting the car. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Your call has been... I guess we'll wait till she calls back. All right, she's calling back right now, guys. Lacey. Hello? You there, Lacey? Hey. Sorry, I was on the phone when you called. Oh, no worries. I know you're at work. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, how you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, I, you know, I was thinking of you today. I know we couldn't get anything done the other week, and I know you really need a car. How are you even getting to work right now? I just have my um, boyfriend's car, but his tire just popped last night, so we're just playing a little, like, whoever can give us a car. <laughs> I gotcha. Well... How would you feel if I gave you a car for free? For free? Yeah, I um, I know you, I know that you know I do the social media stuff, and I'm planning to do a car giveaway, and I really wanted to, wanted you to get the car. How do you feel about that? I feel like I would cry and feel like so. <laughs> oh my god, no way! Yeah, I'm get so I'm gonna give a free car to you. I don't know if you're free so tomorrow. I'll help, you be, I'll help you be TikTok famous. <laughs> It's not about getting famous, you know, it is about helping people, but you know, I guess that goes. No, I'm gonna get you TikTok famous. <laughs> but, um, oh my god, no way. Are you uh, free tomorrow morning? I am free tomorrow morning. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I know you're at work and I don't want you to miss out on anything going on there. But um, how about tomorrow? I'll text you, but tomorrow around 10 a.m., we're gonna meet up um, and we'll go to the notary. I'll text you everything we'll need. I think I'm gonna actually have to. Maybe put it in your, your dad's name, I'm not sure, um, since you're still young, but we'll make sure you get a car to drive and you'll have transportation to work. Oh my gosh, okay, thank you so much. I literally, I have no words and I have no <laughs> clue how to thank you. I don't need your thanks, I just wanna give back, so that's what I'm doing here, you know? And you'll be the first of many, many people I give cars to, so it just, it worked out perfectly that you were here the other day. At the same time, I was planning to give somebody a car, and when you left that day, I was like, Oh, she's gonna get the car. I just gotta. I was just waiting for the title to come in, so I'm glad I could help. Oh my god, thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, I'll, I'll text you a little bit later. I'm about to head home. I'll text you. Thank you so much. You uh, are. This is so unbelievable. I, I, I can't thank you anymore. <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your day at work. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. What did I say? World's nicest girl. I, I'm so excited that this car is going to someone who's going to be grateful and appreciative and, and really needs transportation. I didn't mention it to her on the phone call because I wanted it to be a surprise, but I'm going to bless her with $1,000 cash just to help with insurance, help with any gas, anything that she needs maintenance-wise with the vehicle, something were to go wrong. Fingers crossed this is a good car for her for the next six months to a year, but if this can just get her to and from work, and as you heard, her boyfriend's car has got a flat tire on it, so this will definitely be a nice blessing in her life. And I, I'm a little nervous. I'm kind of shaking right now, you know, just to be able to give back to people who really need help. 
but I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow, and I can't wait to see a look on her face. She's gonna be so excited. All right, it's go time. Let's do this. What's going on, guys? Going? Take a look at your new car. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I appreciate it so much. That is. I know it's not the world's nicest car, but it is actually a really good car. I've been driving this for like the last month. I just wanted to make sure it was safe, you know, before I gave it away. Oh, okay. Go sit in it. Okay. How you doing, man? Appreciate it so much, buddy. Hey, anything we can do to help? Yeah, this is a 2001 Mercury Grand Marquis. Has like 100,000 miles. I knew the guy that had it. He bought it brand new and just meticulously maintained it. And he couldn't drive anymore. And he just wanted to get rid of it. So start, turn it on. You know how to? This car is probably older than she is. What year were you born? 2006. Yeah, it's older than you. No, it runs really good though. It'll just be good, you know, to get you, get you to work. I had a mechanic inspect it, put it up on a rack. There's no rust. You know, he checked everything out. It runs good. It'll be a really good car for her, actually. You gotta see how big the trunk is though. That's why I love these cars. You probably put, I don't know, four, maybe five bodies in there. <laughs> I did forget to put some gas in it. So um, I did want to give you just a little bit of gas money. Oh, no, you don't have So I hope, I hope that's enough. You don't have to. No, seriously. <laughs> No, this is just for gas, repairs. You know, a 20 year old car, it's not if something's gonna, something is gonna break on this car eventually. So I'm hoping this can get you just, you know, six months to a year. But if something breaks in between this, that's what this is for. I don't know. There you go. Just take it. Thank you. <laughs> and you can, that can help pay for your plates and stuff too when they open. You're welcome. <laughs> So we'll, we'll wait for these guys to open up and then we'll finish up the rest. All right, Lacey, this car is all yours. Uh, thanks for being a good sport. Appreciate you. Any questions for me? No, I don't. All right, well, I have one question for you. Can you give me a ride home because this is how I drove here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right, let's go. <laughs> just keep, you just watch the road. How's your new car drive there, Lacey? We've been driving for about 15 minutes. You, you like it? I like it. It's good. nice. Good. I, uh, I do want to clarify, this doesn't come with any extended warranty. <laughs> but if something does happen, just let me know. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll get you taken care of. But hopefully, this is a good car for you. Like I said, I've been driving this for the last month. Really? Yeah. No, I'm a little, I'm a little jealous because I've always wanted this platform car. These cars are known to go two, three hundred thousand miles. This is yeah. police interceptor cars were used for this. Um, all the taxis in New York for like 20 years were this type of car. So they're just built really solid. So it should be a really good car for you. All right, Lacey just dropped us off. She's super excited. And man, does it feel so good to be able to just give back to people. Uh, this is the start of something big. I, I wanna actually be known as the guy who has the world record for most cars given away. So this is one of the next thousand. It would take about a thousand cars to break that record. But let me know in the comments what you guys like, what you guys think about this. And make sure you subscribe because I'm going to start getting my followers and subscribers involved with these giveaways. So did want to make sure this first car went to someone in need. But the next couple cars are definitely going to be going to subscribers and followers too. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this.